Coronavirus COVID-19. Fact, not fear. Before you dismantle your society, you should see this. Short version, data up to 26th March. The UK Chief Medical Officer has declared a worst-case scenario with 80% infected, 53 million Britons, and a 1% death rate, 530,000 Britons. Here's the CMO's 80% infected with two lines. In the first, of the 80% infected, 80% of those show symptoms. In the second, 20% of infected show symptoms. It's not a very reassuring picture, nor is it even close to a realistic picture given the real curves shown. Using a linear scale, the CMO scenario is so extreme that the real world scenarios that are actually happening aren't even visible. From 1st January 2020 to March 26, 2020, approximately the COVID-19 scenario to date, 13 million people have died. They just didn't die of the coronavirus. Overwhelmingly, these deaths were invisible to you. You did not fear them or react badly to them. They were not a media-focused issue. 20,834 deaths, by contrast, have been presented as a massive crisis and a significant threat to your life. Is that true? In China, the situation is over. Reported new cases are down from around 5,000 to typically 100 a day. Of the 27,000 people who die every day in China, six currently die from coronavirus. In the worst-hit province, Hubei, with a population of 59 million, 3,085 people died from the virus. In the same period, 86,000 people in the Hubei province died, just not from the virus. 67,794 cases in a population of 59.17 million represents a risk of catching the virus and showing symptoms at 0.11%. 3,085 deaths in a population of 59.17 million represents a risk of dying from the virus of 0.005%. Compare that to normal Western mortality rates at 18, 42%, 45.2%, 75%, 2%, overall 0.92%. We look at normal mortality, the infection risk, the death risk, and to establish a virus mortality. Normal mortality versus virus mortality. Normal vo mortality is 91 times more dangerous at age 18, 444 times more dangerous at 45, and 218 times more dangerous at 75. We model the propagation, and as you can see, our simple model matched China remarkably well. A population starts out untouched, and those touched by the virus become either carriers, no symptoms, or cases, symptoms. Notice that the model does not require social distancing or lockdown. It is simply that our immune systems handle it effectively. The first sign that the crisis is over is the diminishing rate of growth, curl over, or flattening curves. The next sign is peak cases, fewer new cases per day. Finally, the new cases will be so few as to be insignificant. Here we see all 15 countries that we track, broadly following a similar progress for the virus. Italy, green, is the only country to have gone slightly beyond Hubei in cases per 100 million population. Projecting its curve, we suspect Italy may go as high as 260,000 cases per 100 million population. That would be a rate of 0.26% of the population, or 1 in 383, showing symptoms, confirmed cases. Norway, blue, like Italy, is curling over, so we know the crisis is over, just not the contagion. We suspect that Norway will plateau at 165,000 cases per 100 million, population 0.16%, or 1 in 611. Germany red is not quite so clearly curled over. We suggest 193,000 per 100 million population, 0.19% or 1 in 517. UK pink, started later, is barely curled. We suspect 202k per 100 million, 0.2% or 1 in 493. Italy and Germany look to be past peak, provided they don't relapse. Italy's curve is so pronounced we consider that unlikely for Italy. 
The Americas are perhaps the most frustrating charts, and we've included Israel here also. There really seems to be no evidence of curlover. It seems to be a race to get to Hubei. There's no question of peak at this point. We're still waiting on curlover. Before you engage in measures massively damaging to your livelihoods, your economy and your liberty, consider carefully what we've seen in these charts and in China's experience. Your immune system is the best defense against the coronavirus. Your brain is the best defense against the fear virus. Use both, trust both, strengthen both. You're going to die. That's just life. It's just exceedingly unlikely that coronavirus is the thing that's going to kill you. Feel free to get in touch, andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrew at amather.com. Either should get to me.